everyone, it's Marguerite. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For any of you who are new to my channel, I have great stuff. So this isn't a review, this is just a haul. I'm literally gonna show you the products that I got. I'm going to open it up for you out of the box, fresh out of the box, I haven't even opened it yet. And I will of course do an updated review video for you. And then I can also do a try on video if you wanna see how I use these products in my evening routine. Those are things to come, but right now I'm just gonna show you and tell you a little about what I got. So for any of you who are new to this brand, I got products from The Ordinary, and you can buy those from the company, which is Decium, DCM. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I went to DCM.com. They call themselves the Abnormal Beauty Company. They have more of a scientific approach to their skincare rather than just filling it with crap products like a lot of US companies do. It's with fillers and chemicals and other stuff that aren't good for your face. Their products are in its purest form and they really are quite affordable. I'm not good at opening this box. Okay, the brand that I got is called The Ordinary. The Ordinary. This brand is new. I think it launched in the fall of 2016. So either September, October, November, December it launched. I wanna say it was September, could have been October. This is a very, very wonderful company. Every one of their products is under $15. So a lot of their stuff is like six, seven, eight dollars and their most expensive one is $15. And every one of their products contains at least two active ingredients like vitamin C or hyaluronic acid or a retinoid, which we're all used to seeing in way pricier serums that are like anywhere from 50 to $100 because that's what us Americans think we need to pay for good skincare, right? So the reason their products are so affordable and cheap is because of their low ingredient account. They say since their product count is so low, they can be manufactured and packaged more cheaply and more affordably. They say most brands overprice these ingredients and items anyways and disguise them as new innovations when really they've been around for a while. So let me show you the products that I got, which I'm so excited about. Hey. I got five new products, which I'm excited to put into my skincare routine. And they also say that these products are suitable for all skin types, especially sensitive skin. They say these don't have like any harsh alcohol or harsh ingredients that can really irritate your skin. So they're supposed to be a great addition to your skincare that you already have. I can do an updated routine video and show you how I use these if you want. But the first one that I got is by The Ordinary, the Matrixyl 10% HA, which stands for Hyaluronic Acid. So this was $7 and this will give your skin just an added boost of moisture, especially if you live in a more humid environment. This is one of the best products for you because this will just plump up your skin and give it an added boost of moisture. Now you may find if you live in a more dry climate like me, Indiana, where we are in the dead of winter, this can give your skin kind of a firming effect. So I like, I already have a hyaluronic acid from SkinCeuticals and I especially like putting it along my eyes in my morning routine because it kind of tightens and firms it up. So this will give your skin an intense dose of moisture and this was $7, people. I'm terrible at opening this up. It says apply a few drops to the face AM and PM fragrance free. And it looks like there's about 15 ingredients. But look, the packaging I think is so cute. Nice glass bottle. So Matrixyl 10%, it says a high strength peptide formulation with next generation Matrixyl. Next up is the, so the Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. This is with Matrixyl. So this sounds like it's very hydrating. This also has hyaluronic acid, amino acids. Apply to the entire face in the AM and PM. Oh, also this website has a whole list of how they recommend you apply them. So I do need to look that up so I get the most benefit out of them. So this is the most expensive product I believe that they have on their website. It's a little under $15, which is a wowzer for me. And it is a peptide filled serum, which I think are good for plumping up your skin and smoothing your skin. So next up is the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. So a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. And these all have the same packaging and they all look the same, they're all clear. And usually they say you wanna apply the thinnest, clearest formula first and work down the line. So if you have like a thicker consistency serum or a darker serum, apply that last. That just means these are lighter and they absorb into your skin faster. So I'll probably apply one in the morning, one in the evening, maybe just alternate which one I use. Cause I think the Matrixyl and the Hyaluronic Acid kind of are the same thing. I think the Matrixyl might be a little more 
hydrating than just the hyaluronic acid because it says the Matrixel has hyaluronic acid in it. So I will try to do more research on that and get back to you on that. And then I got 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This is something I'm most excited about. Rose hip is just very hydrating on your skin. And I know oil may sound scary, but your skin actually will drink up oil. It doesn't mean it's just gonna sit on top of your skin and make you look like a greased chicken. If you do find it is a little oily, then just apply it at night. This could be on top of your moisture as that last step. But I usually like applying oils before my creams so that they aren't just sitting on top of my creams. You can mix this in with your lotion or your cream, but this is just gonna be a booster if you have very dry skin. And rosehip is very nourishing, especially for like acne scars, which I had a lot of acne growing up. So I just try to condition my skin as much as I can. It's very sensitive and I have a lot of redness and rose hip is supposed to just be very hydrating and gentle on the skin. So this, how does it say? It just says apply once a day to the face, ideally at bedtime after application of water-based treatments. So it sounds like you do not want to apply an oil before this, obviously, because these are more water-based. You know, you can apply these first and then this would be the last step. And I think you can apply a lotion after. Sometimes they say oils, this can replace your moisturizer because they are so thick and they usually just create a barrier and block the absorption of any following product after the oil. But I'm gonna look into that more and play around with it and see how my skin benefits the most from this. And lastly, I have the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG and it says this reduces the appearance of eye contour pigmentation and a puffiness. I applied this around my eye area. It says with high caffeine and green tea catechin. I don't know if I said that right. Massage a small amount onto the eye contour AM and PM. Okay so this is just for the eye area and the caffeine is supposed to be great at depuffing and yeah depuffing that eye area and getting rid of pigmentation and puffiness. Ooh, that looks like it's kind of like a gel-like serum. Look at all those bubbles in there. I'm curious how all these smell and how my skin reacts with them, but first I just wanted to show you my products. And then lastly, real quick, I gotta go. I also got the Hylamide Sub-Q Anti-Age Advanced Serum for multi-depth, rehydration, and visible reduction in line. This brand I just saw is at CVS. So if you're interested in getting this, you can get it at CVS. And in one of my People magazines, they had a five dollar off coupon for this for the hylamide line so great packaging <laughs> i like that it looks pharmaceutical you know it kind of has a bluish tint to it but the sub q anti-age advanced serum apply to entire face am and pm after cleansing ideally follow with application of the sub q eyes and specific hylamide boosters oh only hylamide oh yeah not happening obviously i'm not going to use all these products at once but i will figure out how to use it and then lastly i got neod the myrrh clay it says use once a week on clean dry skin apply a thin layer to the entire face leave on for 15 minutes rinse off with warm water. So this has a myrrh, which is supposed to be very good for the skin. And this looks so cute in this little bottle. Wow, it smells very pungent and like figs. And it looks very thick, but I'm excited to try this out. It's supposed to just be clay, which is very good for detoxing and cleaning out the pores and cleaning out all that crap. So I'm excited to try this out. That's what I got to start off with, which I think is pretty good. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.